Oh, hello again. Uh, <clears throat> the Lockpicker 1969 has got a, a 700 subscriber giveaway going on and it's called uh, Lockpick Tools 700. And he wants you to talk about your, you know, favourite tools. And um, it, I find this is very difficult, <laughs> very difficult one, actually, because um, I do have favourite tools, sort of, but there's a big but. You have to use the right tool for the job, don't you? You know, or the, yeah, the right tool for the job. So um, let's get started. Um, now, that this is um, a Southord 22,000th. And this was by far and away my favourite pick um, until I broke it. Um, you know, picks break, especially if you put a bit of tension on. And, um, and so that is now in the bin of despair and shame. And then we've got another one. This is a, another... Oh, by the way, that one was given to me by a guy called Graham Rossiter, who, who has supported me hugely. Um, and this one and by another person who who has supported me hugely. And this is a, an SS Dev and it was given to me by the wonderful Mylock. And um, and I really appreciate that. And I've used this a lot. It's opened up, you know, a lot of bad locks and very different locks. This one really, really, really uh, miss this one. And I broke it not long ago, actually. So that was that's into the pit of despair. Right. So. Um, this one is what I call my Bic pick. Now then, this is a, a sort of a shallow hook made out of a wiper blade. I think it comes from a 1980s um, TR8. Um, and it was outside for a long time, the, the, the blades and the car, the blades. And, um, and it's pitted in, and it's got very pitted and there's a pitting that goes all the way through here. Um, and, um, and so I don't use it very much, but I, you know, this has been a, a favorite pick of mine picks. Well, I do like the shallow hooks. They're all sort of the SS dev isn't that shallow, but you know, it's just, this pick, they suit my picking style, I suppose. So this is a, this is a, a, a nice, um, it's been a nice pick that, but I don't use it anymore. I just save it for, for, you know, nostalgic sake, really. Now this one is a bare bones pick, and it's um, I think it was that it's twenty three thousandths, and so this is my I haven't smoothed it all down yet. Actually, it needs a bit of that. It's got a bit of weight to it, and this is going to this is my sort of new um, shallow hooking. I've 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 altered this bit here. I've altered the the tip of it. I don't know if you can see what. I'm, <laughs> sorry, guys, um, I'm very inconsiderate when it comes to filming. Anyway, that's the. Um, uh, I've altered it to be a sort of a my style of shallow hook, so it's not as shallow as I normally would use. And then this one is a, a fifteen thousandths um, um, bare bones, and you can see it's a bit thin for me. I've put some stuff on it to help me, and I've turned it again into an even shallower hook, really. But it's thin, and that um, I, I say I've got this in my favourite collection. I do use it actually, so I'm using these two together. This. Whoops! This one is the bare bones holder. That's not a bare bones um, pick. Uh, but Pocket Woman said to me, "You know, you you've got it set in wrong." Well, it's set in wrong because it's um, um, it's not a bare bones pick, really. So anyway, um, yeah, nice. It's nice and fine that one. Um, so I'm using these. I'm I'm liking them. But then it takes us on to other tools, which are these two. Um, this one is, a, you know, these are for disc detainers. Um, and um, and so I made both of these. Um, this is my most recent. And this was to open the Russian one, the dual custody, this thing here. Um, but I've had to, um, I'm, I've put that aside for a while on Chris Capoon's um, advice. And I've I'll put a new tip in here, um, tension part of it. And um, and that was for the Yale. So it's got a fairly fine top here as well, and that's what this is all set up for that Yale with a new um, pick tip, um, nice and smooth. I haven't blackened this off yet, um, and then this one I've got it set up for um, the Kawaha, and um, and that's um, this is okay and it's working nicely. I just I just can't get it on camera unfortunately, but I absolutely adore these. Homemade tools are the best. They're just fantastic because I believe that if you pick, make a tool to fit a lock, 
like this, you actually learn about the lock as well in the process because you're making something to fit something. So absolutely great, these. This one is um, my first one, and it's sort of copied off a Chris Capoon, um, Chris Capoon's um, Sparrows one. That's what that is. And then there's this. Um, this is a sort of a combination thing where this is the tension tool and this is the uh, the pick. Um, and that's for um, this lock here. And um, it's all falling over. And... Um, and absolutely, I mean, this obviously comes from Brummy Lock Picker, and um, the idea of this, and I absolutely adore this. I love this style of of thing, uh, of pick. Um, you can get a wire tension tool as well. You can pick all of these with a wire tension, just wire, and um, you don't need to make these. Absolutely fantastic. Love it. Absolutely love it. I love it because of, of the the connection that you get with the lock with them. You know. Again, making your own tools really, really helps. And then as a tension tool for sort of padlocks, this is a wiper blade. And um, and it's just, a, it's just pretty straightforward. But for me, this is um, a similar, it's not the same, it's similar to Chris Capoon's universal tension wrench because of the thickness of this, the size of this. It's all by accident, guys. Um, again, it's a wiper blade from the 1980s TR8. Um, it's heavier, it's thicker, it's you know, it's very, very brittle, this, I think. Um, and um, it fits in the bottom and it fits in the top of a lot of different um, padlocks and, and rim cylinders, etc. Um, so there we go. There, that's I just I love this tension tool and I and I like bottom of the keyway. And so um, I've just been watching uh, Paul Springer uh, open up a, a, a what do you call it? Um, I oh, can't have you falling over, darling, can I? Uh, open up his Lockwood and um, and you can see that that goes in there beautifully. He was using top of the keyway and it would do that nicely too. So that's inspirational for me. I shall have to have a go at that later. Anyway, there we go. And then there's another couple of tools which um, you don't really see in lock picking. Uh, I mean, you see the knife um, and the knife is obviously... Um, useful for all sorts of different little sort of packages uh you know <laughs> say packages yeah opening packages and various bits and pieces i mean this knife gets used hugely in in sitting on this desk this is my lock sport desk as it were and everything that happens here is lock sporty nothing else really and i use that a lot um often it's in in a pot but um i've been using it and another one is this now, these are some old um, scissors that actually an old boy gave to me, not my granddad, and someone else. And his father was a, a hairdresser, a barber. And I've got the provenance that goes with this. And, and you've got some little nicks on here that shows how many time it's been, times it's been sharpened. And you can see that it's been sharpened and it's sort of lost a bit of thing. But they're handmade, these scissors, and they're about 200 years old. So... Um, and I use them on a on a daily basis for doing various little bits and pieces. Again, packaging and cutting tape and all sorts of stuff. I, I use them for various bits and pieces. But this is a as a as a tool um, is that you don't really hear people talking about scissors very much, but they are absolutely fantastic. I love these. So there we go. Thank you very much indeed. Congratulations to the Lockpicker 1969 for doing so well uh, in his um, fantastic um, on his fantastic channel. Go and support him, of course. Um, and I would like, if I should win, if I was lucky enough to win, I would like my prize to go to um, Lock Picking Gal. Sorry, not Lock Picking Gal. Uh, Lady Locks, Lock Heat, but most importantly, Picking Time um, and to be distributed to whomever wins one of their things. OK, guys, thank you very much. See you around.